Marsha, can we actually talk about this new single, Old Times, and your music coming out? So Old Times, I wrote that prior to meeting my husband, meeting my, you know, the love of my life, and uh, having a daughter. But since um, there was so much going on in the news that I couldn't ignore anymore. So it was Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, hashtag RIP, insert, you know, any name. And it was getting to me as a human being, like desensitizing ourselves into believing that because it's so far removed from our own backyard, it doesn't exist. But as a wife and mother now, it's having to have, you know, a personal funeral every day on the news. It's something new and it's something horrific and something so tragic that it has to be acknowledged. So with old times, I just wanted to bring back good music that made you feel again. Yay. You like that song, don't you? Yes. So I think that's actually really important as an artist. Yeah. Okay. But I think that's actually really important as an artist, you know, discussing these social issues. Do you often find it challenging pushing music that may be too political or too social without losing, you know, support from your supporters or just in general? Um, someone, it was weird because being likened to somebody like a an icon such as Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye had songs like Sexual Healing and Let's Get It On, but he also had What's Going On. So there's a seamless fine line of having to navigate what you're truly trying to achieve in music. Me, say yes. Uh, getting laid, uh, thrown through to far away. I've always sketched what I've seen and experienced, so I don't feel it's forcing the issue. I think it's a right to speak on the issues. And music, when you press play, you can remember what was going on in the world. I remember certain key moments that have happened on this planet and I remember the soundtrack to that. So I'm just attempting to be that and I've never, I've always stood my ground when it came to, okay, far away we have something to speak about here. So let's do it, both audibly and visually. So I did the same thing with old times. Did I see a hand up? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Lewis, Austin, Texas. Uh, I was there when you performed at the National Black NBA Association oh, yes. in Philly. Yeah. Uh, that was an awesome performance. Thank you. I really loved it and appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, my, 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 question, my question for you is, um, you, you, have, you have been here several times. What have your experience been like now? Has it been different or has it been the same? What have your experience been like? more empathetic you know I think it's um, as a wife and mother my my outlook on life is this is me I mean I have her auntie here my mother's here but this is my baby and I don't want to look like I'm wearing the superhero cape like oh Marsha's doing music and she's being a mother at the same time like that's not what every parent ever had to do I'm just continuing on to do what I do and love my kid and my husband. That's it. Yes. I'm here. Um, I love you right now. My question is, what advice or what encouragement would you give to women as you stand there? How are you? You have your music coming out. You have your beautiful daughter in your arms. And I find this question comes to me a lot, where women do feel that guilt or apology about um, keeping their family in mind for their career. woman who ever just wanted to be, just be. I think when uh, agendas are forced on you to just become something they think you are, then you're chasing this fictitious version of yourself. And I think I got to the place in my life because I decided to just be honest with me first. And if that hurt other people, then I had to because I was hurt. So it was unfair for me to have all of this build up and say, oh, I was in the right or the wrong. It's not a right or wrong, it's just facts. And I feel like once you re relieve yourself of all of that guilt that you have on your shoulders, you can move forward. And it's you moving forward, not from the anyone else but yourself. Move on. Just share with us, share with us mm -hmm. your album release date, if possible, and the name. Okay. Album release date is September 28th. And 
and the album title is Nyla, named after my daughter, but also named after the journey that it took to get her. My life was New York to LA and everything in between that, and um, meeting her father, who then turns out to be raised in upstate New York, Buffalo to be exact, and um, born in LA. She was named after her dad too, NY, LA, Nyla. And um, the entire album is everything that I, just, like I, we were saying, just getting through as a woman and who people expect you to be. And sometimes it's not gonna be happy. That smile on your face, yeah, it's fake. But guess what, we have to do that sometimes. Cause how else am I supposed to get through the day? Like just be mad, you know? So it's like, oh, I don't wanna be angry. Well, when am I gonna get to relieve myself of that emotion? I'm thankful that I have music to do that. And some people don't have the creative bone in their body, but they can press play on a song and go jug it out or, you know, sing it at the top of their lungs in the shower and be relieved of some of that tension. I feel like the state of the world right now with our phones in our hands and all of these hashtag RIPs, whatever's, we need therapy. But we're not saying it, we're just doing it. Like, oh, I'm fine, but well, that's cool. Who died? Oh, really? Oh, that's so sad. No, it's really happening, and it's happening again and again and again. So this one album encapsulates every emotion that I've been through as a woman, as open and as honest as I ever could be, and coming out the other side with a ring on it <laughs> and a one and a half year old. Who the thunk it? Cut.